Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Dark OP Destiny episode number eight. All right, the previous episode, um, we get to see that Destiny is slowly, slowly, her personality is slowly, slowly getting more uh, like a human. Uh, she's able to have her own thoughts, her own um, preferences. And that's how, you know, like her, like it's changing by living with, like spending time with Takt and Anna. She is slowly, slowly becoming a human, a human, like, you know, with a person with emotions. Uh, and like that, like, you know, like, and, and we kind of remember, get re reminded of the day when, you know, like when we first saw Destiny, she was like, um uh my goal is destroying the d2 that's just it but now you know like her goal has slightly changed she still wants to destroy the d2 but there is a solid reasoning behind it she wants to hear tucked play in a world where there is no uh threat of getting uh hunted by d2s so that's why she wants to defeat all the d2s so that tucked can play and she likes tucks playing that's why she wants him to play without any concern. That's her goal now. So it's really showing like, you know, like both the mixture, like, you know, both the personality of the original Destiny and Cosette is kind of mixing up, up into like a completely new personality. And she's becoming more like a human being. And uh, yeah, that was that. Tact also kind of goes to see that, you know, like her helping all the little kids who are like refugees here because of the D2 attacks and like all that stuff we see you know like both of them kind of bond together a little bit uh but then uh comes Sh shin i think what was his name schindler yeah <laughs> in comes him and he starts like you know messing everything up he's like oh i'm going to destroy this place uh, i'm going to destroy you the d2s are going to attack blah 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 she's he says like my like you know his music card hell's power is attracting the d2s and all that stuff so yeah let's see what happens in this episode he is a disgusting piece of human being i really want to see him suffer and let's see if he actually does suffer in this episode i hope someone teaches him a lesson so yeah without further ado let's get started this is episode number eight of tucked op destiny i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one Okay. Oh, Lenny's also on the way. That's a good thing, actually. And Sagan was also able to understand, uh, not understand, but he got informed that Schindler is doing these type of stuff. So I hope. I'm sure, like, you know, like, Tart can handle him, hopefully. If. Uh, I don't know. But I'm sure something will happen and I hope he gets fired by Sagan. Because Sagan told him like don't interfere with Tuct. But who like you know like he he he's not the type of person who would listen to others. All right, let's see. Oh, great. Here we go again. Shut up. Whoa. Yes, come on. Come on, come on. Just, I really want to see him get punched. Shut up. Oh my god, this this guy kind of this guy's really annoying. I'm I'm I really I'm really not liking him. Like <laughs> I don't know why, but seeing his face is pissing me off.
Oh boy. Oh my god. Ugh. I I want to see him. I I'm 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 getting pissed off looking at him. Shut up! Oh my God, this guy. <laughs> Your music card also doesn't listen to you. Great. Uh. Oh no, please don't. Oh, thank you, Lenny. Oh my God, thank God they're here. Oh. Oh no, they're following him? Oh boy. Hmm. Wait, what is this place? Is this a cave? Yeah. Infected. Oh my god. Can you please skip this place? Uh, can you skip? Please skip this. Oh wow, this, this guy is just like D2. Oh, great. Wow. What a pathetic, like how much pathetic you have to be. That you, I don't know, like, like seeing him brag about himself like this when he doesn't even have any kind of, like, you know, he's accomplished nothing. Like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs>
Oh, he's kind of thinking about Anna. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, when music was banned. Hmm. Yeah, she she brought him out. Remember the yeah. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, like you saw, like, you know, in the, in the previous episode. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, here we go. Ugh. all right so i'm guessing schindler is somewhere here like waiting for them yeah
Oh. God. Wait, who the? Wait, is oh she's she's not taking his. She's not taking her form. Oh. Um. Oh my God, Titan! I hope Titan, they're able to. Oh my God. Ugh. Oh God. That's not the thing here. Yeah, he never wanted to be a part of this. Oh. Just ignore him. Please just ignore him. Don't talk to him. Like yeah, keep ignoring him. He does. He he's not worth anything. Yeah, keep ignoring him. He did. Yeah, shut up. Annoying character. What is wrong with this guy? <sighs> yeah. There you go. Mm. Damn. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> yeah. 
You're not worth anything, just... All right, come on. Come on. Oh my god. Woo. All right, come on. Damn. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Take take his life force or whatever. Whoa, whoa, what the? Wait, her name's Heaven? Yeah, you're fired. Yeah. You stripped of all your Come on, just just Thank you. Yes. Oh. Thank you. Go away now. What? What was he? Yeah, go away. Oh my god. One of the most annoying characters. Huh. Everything, I guess. Wait, so... This is hell and this is heaven. Okay. Interesting. Wow, so this guy just got used very well. Good for him. Like, you know, like, that's good. Like, a person like this really deserves something like this. Come, please take him to the mental hospital. This guy really needs it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What what's happening? Oh my god. Like that thing got permanently oh Oh Wow. Okay that this was a really good episode. <sighs> 
well, thank God Schindler is away. I hope we never have to see him again. But I don't know. These type of characters are just so annoying. They keep coming back over and over again. So hopefully we don't ever see him again. Like, I'm especially a lot, like, you know, I'm especially pissed at him, Schindler, because he reminds me of uh, Shinji from Fate, Fate Stay Night. He reminds so much of Shinji, like, I hate that one character with so much passion, Shinji Mato, that, like, you know, looking at this guy, he really reminded me of Shinji. And I was just, no, like, this, this, this character has to go. Oh my god. Is that it? Yeah. All right, this episode, this is episode number eight. Okay, so we are, we were directly continuing from the previous episode. Uh, the whole battle was going on, hell versus destiny. And, um, you know, like we see how Tuck suddenly uses, you know, he, he, he becomes like this type of like a crazed person when he realizes or learns that the fault of Cosette's death is basically this guy. So he starts, you know, like kind of running quickly and all that stuff was happening. So now there's one thing. Um, I'm, I'm guessing because of that, because of him actually using his power so much, um, the thing that we saw in the end, you know, his hand was kind of, it was a big patch in his hand. I think that was the reason why it became something like that. I don't know, who knows, because probably he overexerted himself. Now, this one thing that I'm thinking about, that is, um, like, I've never actually seen any conductor themselves kind of going in, into the fight, you know, like, as we see Tuck suddenly just, like running like that, you know, using his enhanced physical abilities or whatever, um i've actually like you know like i don't think we've seen any conductor kind of do something like that so is, is that like something that has like like a speciality of him like how is he able to do something like that like i'm i thought that only music arts were someone who got enhanced physical abilities and fighting powers not the conductor the conductor just conducts so who knows or maybe they just didn't show it to us maybe the conductors do gain some power when they start conducting like i have no idea who knows but yeah like uh but obviously like this is your you, you like you know you're facing against a music art like he won't be able to do anything hell kind of slashes him and you know they try to get out of that place now obviously we can see how like as i said like you know destiny is gaining human emotions and you know like kind of like be becoming what can i say like gaining cosette's personality or uh, not because gaining cosette's personality but it's like a mixture of herself her own personality and cosette's personality kind of mixing together so we like we get like you know like we get another reminder of that because here when tuck asks her that like why did you run away from there wasn't your goal uh fighting you know and she says that i don't know but i felt like you know like i won't be able to listen to you playing piano again that's when i my body started moving on its own which really shows that yeah she has changed a lot and like you know talking about cosette and everything you know like that also probably was like something that i don't know was burdening her because she you know, like no one, uh, what do you call it? No one referred to her, her as Destiny. Um, they were all calling her Cosette, Cosette. And that was kind of showing that they were still bound to their past, both Anna and Tut. So Destiny also probably kind of felt a little bit, um, not burdened, but I'm sure she felt a little bit weird because she does know that she is 
uh, inside Cosette's body. But at the same time, she knows this as well, that she's not Cosette. And her personality is far from what Cosette's personality is. So it's kind of like, you know, like them calling him by Cosette's name probably kind of bothered her as well. And there was this little inferiority complex we were seeing within her. And she was kind of saying like, if Big Sister was here, she probably would have been able to do something. If Anna was here, you know, like she would have been able to do it a lot more properly. And all of these leads these like, you know, little uh, things, the emotions that we have, they were, he was, she was feeling the inferiority complex um, and all the other things. These show that, yeah, she she has become more like a person as time goes on. And. Yeah, and then she, you know, like. Uh, that kind of gives her a little. What do you call it? A little recollection where she he says that, yeah, I was like, I was like an empty husk. Because that was the one because of whom I started playing the piano and not playing the piano, but I started gaining more, um, what do you call it? Uh, confidence in all of the others. Like I thought that everyone gave up music, but that was not it. No one has given up music. And Cosette was the one who actually made me realize that on that day, on the, the Sinfonica day, where she, like, you know, brings tucked out. And when she starts playing, he realizes that everyone is so happy. And he realizes that, yeah, no one has given up music. Everyone is, like, you know, holding themselves back because they know what's going to happen if music starts. And she re he realizes that no one has given up on music. It's still there, it's still in everybody's heart. And. He starts gaining more faith in others. Like that was Cosette's complete um, contribution in making him realize that. So he, you know, he talks about that, all that stuff, and Destiny decides to go and fight them herself because uh, Tact is, you know, her life and his life energy. What you call that? Because if he if she transforms, that is going to get sucked up, and she that would like you know make Tuck suffer. So she herself was pretty strong. We saw that you know like her wielding those two axes. She was kind of being able to. She was being able to hold uh, hell down as well. So thankfully tucked and um, tucked titan and lenny comes in at the right time and they kind of have a little conversation and um yeah and then you know like the, the actual fight begins destiny and tucked versus hell and schindler and yeah uh, like destiny is really able to use her i'm guessing full potential or whatever you call it because tuck said like yeah don't you like you know don't worry about me just use it uh, as much as you can and she was actually kind of um have to say like uh what was that like kind of uh, what do you call it um she was kind of overpowering yeah she was kind of overpowering hell in some way because um when we see hell kind of using that that technique and destin uses her own technique it kind of shows how overwhelming destiny's power is at that time now i don't know the reason behind this is it because like um schindler is incompetent is that why hell or was she actually i think she was actually holding herself back she was not using her full power because i doubt that's all like you know like i doubt that's everything about hell 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 has something up her sleeves and she's a lot more stronger than we actually realize and all that stuff so now here's the thing um so basically uh, and then uh, heaven comes in uh heaven and hell so heaven comes in and she's like oh um schindler <laughs> you're fired we unfortunately we just used you so yeah like <laughs> you don't need to come from the next day and hell is like yeah that's it bye bye Bro breaks the conductor stick and just goes along with heaven so basically they i don't know 
were they just using i'm guessing that was what they were doing they were just using him but why like why even need to like use him like if they were actually going to abandon him by the end of it like I don't know, like we've seen, um, uh, uh, what is that? Uh, we've seen music arts kind of existing on their own. For example, Valkyrie. So it wouldn't have been a problem if Hell was alone. But I'm guessing like, you know, being a conductor being there kind of strengthens them a little bit. Not a little bit, but by quite a considerable amount. So that's why like, it's not that they cannot exist without a conductor. It's just that having a conductor kind of helps in a lot of ways. So was that the reason why they just kept him as like a, a what do you call it figurehead at that moment? Like yeah, he he was just there for the time being, and they were going to uh, fire him anyways by the end of it. Probably something like that. So yeah, and and like you know, and since he broke the rules this time, like heaven was like yeah, enough is enough. Just like, you know, you're fired. Just go away. So I'm guessing it is something like that. Otherwise, like, why did they even put this guy in this position? So it must be something like that. And hell, like, you know, hell goes on her merry way <laughs> alongside heaven. Now, this kind of shows us, uh, I don't know, like that probably he hell was just, you know, like, what can I say? Like, is, is somehow involved with all of this, like, since heaven comes and heaven is like what the hell are you doing come back we're going like it, it seemed as if hell was also in on this it's not that hell was just like you know some subordinate hell seems like someone who is probably on the similar level level as heaven so i'm guessing these two heaven and hell they are probably like the top music arts or something and i'm guessing schindler is a heaven's conductor and currently hell does not have a conductor so that means so something like that the structure is probably something like that so yeah now heaven hell said something like when heaven said like um what the hell were you doing like i told you not to meddle and hell was like oh i was just you know like a, it, was a, it was a joke it was a prank <laughs> i was just kind of you know like seeing how strong they are and it was just something so yeah, so basically that kind of answers my question. Hell, Hell was not using any portion of her power. She was just having fun. So, yeah, now the bigger question here is why, what is going on actually in the background? What is happening? Why is Schindler, uh, not Schindler, sorry, why is uh, Sagan so interested in Tut? And he said something regarding oh like tact like you know like uh, kind of hinting that tact is someone very important and not only tact, tact and destiny both of them are somehow very important so what is going on that's the bigger question i am not sure is is sagan an enemy or is he an ally that's also another question so no one knows about it but for now i guess they are kind of in a neutral position both sagan and tact so yeah like they'll you know like they'll they'll won't interfere after this hopefully so yeah we'll see so that was it uh, and in the end schindler goes crazy i hope he he never comes back i don't know these type of characters usually are very persistent and they keep coming back again and again un unless and until they die or something like that's like that's the the main like you know the definition of these type of characters like they are persistent as hell and they won't stop so like who knows maybe another episode he'll suddenly come and try to do something so uh, yeah i really don't want that but we'll see and uh, yeah that was it so and then uh tucked uh, and destiny goes back to anna and i was like yeah like i'm going to call you destiny from today and <laughs> And that's like, then I'll call you Anna Onesa. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was nice. But uh, in the end, we see Tucked having a little problem with his hand. I don't know what that was. Hopefully that's not something concerning. But yeah, who knows? 
Now, the thing with hell here is, like, as hell said, hell was basically playing, and I, I have seen characters like her before. Like, you know, they are, they're very unpredictable. They're crazy. These are crazy characters. And hell is someone like that. Like, no common sense acts on her. And, you know, everything that she does is like, a, what can I say? It's, it's like a weird type of a way they kind of, she kind of does it. Like, for example, she was like, oh, uh, like she, she basically tries to mess with everything. You know, whoever catches her fancy, these type of characters, characters like hell, they, these type of characters try to mess with them. And things that don't interest them, doesn't even care about them. This is that type of a character. And that type of a character usually are kind of crazy, you know, as we can see, like they're chaotic completely and whatever thing that they'll find fancy in, you know, whatever thing they like, they'll try to mess with it. So that's basically hell. So I don't know what the hell to tell, like, you know, <laughs> what the hell. <laughs> I don't know what to um, you know, think about her. We barely have any information about her. She is dangerous, but I don't know. Like, I think she, they both heaven and hell have some other plans. And, you know, Sagan has some other plans. So, we'll see. But, yeah, that was it. That was um, my reaction to Tucked Open Destiny episode 8. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button and subscribe. If you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know and I'll definitely check them out. So yeah guys, that was it and I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Tucked OP Destiny. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.